It's like it felt like it was snowing, but it was not snow at all. It's very. Let's see. Hold on. Fun experience. There's nobody on right now. Hello. Hello. I'm live. I'm live at Krafa's. There's Krafa. Nobody's gonna Here's Krafa. I'm here. And we are at the um, sixth annual uh, summer solstice, which is a celebration of my alumni, and it's good to see everybody here. So we're just gonna kind of walk around and say hi to people. I like the fire pit. I need to do that in my bag. Maybe I'll sit in a chair for a minute and wait until more people tune in. We're at Karafa's house, everybody. We're at Karafa's, and um, this is the solstice, which is uh, which is a fun thing to do. It's it's actually a great opportunity to hang out with my my alumni. Um, many many years worth of alumni have come to this solstice. So here we have Jack O'Brien. You may remember Jack from some of the Dungeon Mayhem tournament Jams sessions. With Jack. Jams with Jack. That's right. The host. And um, and we're just gonna kind of kick it with everybody here for a minute. Prof, how do I see the chat? So, I'm doing this live stream for my phone, which I I hate. Top chat, live chat, super chat. So um, let's see, let's see who's here. So first of all, we're going to do an interview with Samantha. It's, it's Sam. So so you guys might remember Samantha. She's one of the high school students. Sam, say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. So um, Sam, what are you uh, what are you up to now? Without getting too personal with your information. Um, well, I'm at school. Yeah. Uh, still, this is Matt. I have one more year left to go. I probably didn't and then I'll be back last year. Your friend? Your friend? Do that. And um, what are you going to major? She works at a tattoo shop. Um, like not like development for um, yes. research and development. Oh, All right, yeah, Samantha. Shit, the um, sure, the fans want to so know um, how has D and D impacted you since playing on D and D with high school students? Yeah, I know. It strikes up a lot of conversations, especially now that uh, yeah, if they has tattooed and dived into that, that it, um, a lot of people like, will talk know about certain things, things and then I'll mention well, yeah, yeah, but you know how many people get a tattoo? We're all talking like, really, about, really so it's fun to talk to other people about yeah, my it. Has anyone ever recognized you as being famous from D&D with high school students? And like raised, they don't just stay like that. Are you, in other words, are you famous at college because of D&D? I actually encountered that for the first time. No. <laughs> All right, well, there, so there you go. That's, that's okay. It's fun. Yeah. All right, so here's another question. If you had an opportunity to play D&D in college with other people, would you play D&D? Oh, for sure. I, mean, I would love to have a campaign like in college because like, I think it would be a lot of fun to connect with other people I mean, so it looks that are outside like, of the high school. Like, 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 a little bit, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. Like, 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 so um, it's it's good to see people tuning in. Let me let me check the chat. I don't know if I really people like have like questions. This is so bond. sweet. That's okay, cool. That's yeah, hard. it is. That, I think it's pretty sweet too. It it's it's great for me to see all my kids from over the years. And that's why we have these reunions. And in case you're just tuning in, we are at Crawford's house for the sixth annual summer solstice, which is like a barbecue and a reunion for um, all my former students. Oh, yeah, no. So, who like, should we go those, see next? Like, should we go definitely. see? And, like, with this one, she was, like, with all we should interview. Yeah. She's, like, so, some of these people you guys may have recognized from like D and D high school students, or even from um, Dungeon Mayhem, the Dungeon Mayhem. Like, like, yes. Yeah. So, there were a few people who couldn't make it because they're actually working and doing things. Um, so, but we have a lot of people. So, we're gonna move around and and do more um, interviews with people. Right. So, she might have only had it for like hold my drink for a second. I have to switch hands. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, no, Alright, now we're going to go and over it on, fine and until, like, it, and it we're going to talk to Heather. Much, but like right here, it did kind of bleed a little bit. But I also have eczema, so it, like my skin... Alright, stop talking. What? Oh, God. Alright, now, now I'm here with a special surprise. This it's Heather, everybody. Six viewers. <laughs> there are like You're thousands. Famous. There will be thousands of views. Yeah. It's, it's a Friday night. People are out doing things. Yeah, like so us. I am here with Heather. The Heather from D and D with high school students. Heather, how's it going? So Heather, the fans, the fans want to know, like, what are you up to? They totally did. Um, I can't. 
So, um, Heather, what are you up to now? What are you doing? Working on set. All and, I do is work, and I work in a toy store. And and what is what does working on set mean? Uh, I do regular makeup and special effects makeup. This is so awesome. On film sets? Yes. Okay. So, what's like a recent project or a big project that you've done within the past year that like is is cool or was exciting? Um, last week I did a um, feature film. It was my first horror feature. I've done feature films before, they were just regular. So I did that, and then also I don't know why that's a thumbnail. I got to see one of the movies that I did make up for at Hollywood Boulevard. Ooh, nice. In Woodbridge, that movie theater? Yes. Yeah, it was there. So, so that was cool. what, was, what was that movie? That one was called Relative. It's still at... There's two, two brothers, Mike and Danny. Heather, did you did you make that happen? I did, yeah, but it's a lot of Heather does crafty things that we're so much It's Darny, I know. All right, so Heather, um, how many times in the past few years have people recognized you for your appearances on D&D? Zero times? Yeah. Maybe. Except, like, so every couple months, some, like, grown men will DM me on Instagram. Be like, are you from D&D? I'm so sorry. I'm going to tell you I'm going to take up and I have a boyfriend back in the day. That's great. Actually, that's fantastic. Good news. All right. There's no shade to the 40-year-olds. I'm just saying. There's one guy that wouldn't. Okay, so now we have Jack O'Brien, who you guys might remember. Jack O'Brien stepped in for a minute as one of the fill-in players um, on D&D with High School Students. And I think Jack O'Brien also played the Dungeon Mayhem tournament. Jack O'Brien, say hi to everybody. The round is over. Oh, wait, how many of you are there now? That's, that's, uh, we're up to six right now. Hi from Brazil. Hello, Rafael Rodriguez. Good to see you, buddy. So, um, yeah, so Jack's here. There's Jack, Jack O'Brien. Um, let me see who else is here. Michael, did you you played you played in the Dungeon Mayhem tournament? Dungeon Mayhem. Yes. So now we're gonna go over to Michael. Michael played in the Dungeon Mayhem tournament with us. Michael Garbers. Hi. How are you? Now, Michael. Um, what are you up to uh, since high school? What have you been doing? So I'm in aviation now. Uh, I'm going to Lewis University, and I'm planning to be a commercial pilot. Excellent. And um, Michael, how has Dungeon Mayhem or D and D affected your life since high school? Uh, it brought me closer to everyone here. You know, we're at the summer solstice. We're having a great time, and it's great. It's awesome. Excellent. Well done, Michael. Now we're going to move around to. Um, let me see. I have one more person. That um, I think is a special surprise for all of you guys who know D and D with high school students. This is this is a deep dive. Yeah, I just want to prepare you guys. Sean, come here for a second. So, believe it or not, I have Sean Robinson right here. Sean Robinson, D and D with high school students. There he is. So, yeah, Willie Stroker. So, um, Sean, tell us how how has like, uh, I mean, being on D&D with high school students impacted your I mean, life? Have you been like, have you become famous? Have you, a have you become like, a, a, like recognized by people? Um, I have never once been recognized. <laughs> you know, you know these uh, 30,000 subscribers fan art on YouTube? Of you. The D&D stuff. That's right. That's Luigi Manese. Dude, he's a good guy. Amazing artist who, who did the art for the early yeah. D&D with yeah. high school students. That's pretty cool. So, Sean, tell the uh, tell the people at home, what are you up I mean, to since, so you know, like, since high school? What are you doing? Um, I have been working in an automotive restoration shop in the city, uh, working on I mean, the uh, 1929 Rolls-Royce Phantom V1. Uh, doing the wooden body for that, the entire wooden body. And then it gets uh, steamed with aluminum. Uh, it was coach built by Hibbert and Darren in Paris back in uh, 1926. So, Sean, how would you say that your your interests in automotive stuff and but carpentry know, and uh, video have it, it, kind of come good. together for you in your, your yeah. current uh, work stuff? I would say that the video editing has helped my, uh, my social media aspect of uh, promoting my personal brand. What? Yeah, or, I do plan on getting back into yeah. it. Really? Hey, 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 like, yeah. so, I don't have any stores. I have marshmallows. I have marshmallows. And um, yeah, Sean, for the, the people at home, <laughs> what's your fondest memory of um, your your time on D&D with high school students in the oh, so amazing, legendary role of Willie Stroker? What's one awesome uh, memory you have? Fondest memory of the entire D&D with high school students 
studio. That was an that was, amazing. That was, that was an amazing. That was an amazing. Gary Con. That was and, and Gen Con actually. Sean was was uh, one of the first student crew members when we did Gen Con. Gen Con 50. So that was a big Gen Con. And uh, that was that was a legendary, legendary, so legendary, uh, legendary. Is that where I won the black magic? Uh, that's right. Sean, that's right. Sean came home with a whole bunch of awesome hardware, which was pretty amazing. So, yeah. so um, that's this. This is uh, this is this has been a good catch up. Pretty good. But but um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, now but, we're gonna go but, talk to. You remember, uh, yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Remember, yeah, remember thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down is a show that Sean shot and edited and produced, where I basically went to restaurants and ate food, and then I gave it a rating of thumbs up or thumbs down. I was watching the uh, the one of uh, Dino's hot dog place on yeah. the Grand Roads yesterday, actually. Yeah, where um, we filmed the entire episode and did not get B roll of the exterior, and this was during the phase where. For the the last three restaurants that you thumbs down, they either caught on fire or went under business like that same so, week. That's true. Like, um, and uh, yeah. this was one of them. And he gave them a thumbs down immediately, like three bites of their pizza <laughs> in thumbs down. And then I uh, forgot the so, B-roll for the exterior of the uh, place. We went the next day and uh, it was on fire. The fire department was there. It was like washing tape and everything. And I used that for the video. That's right. And it closed down shortly thereafter. So yeah, well deserving. That, that basically means it proves, in fact, that I have magical powers. And if I give a thumbs down to a restaurant, that it will die within a certain amount of time. I think it was, I think it was more than that. I have it in my calendar. It's true. Yeah, it's absolutely true. true. Sean, thank you for um, saying hi to the fans. Thank you, so, fans. Sean, quick yeah. question. Is there any chance that you would reprise your role as Willie Stroker in a one-shot of d and I would like to play D&D again. Sometimes. So, there you go, fans. It's possible. It is all possible. All right, people from uh, Brazil. If I had my dice tray, that wasn't uh, crushed. Yeah. I, I accidentally <laughs> stepped on Sean's amazing woodworking project of a dice tray, and that, you know, ripped. It but. crushed my dreams and my physical dice tray. That's right. So, we'll see if maybe this summer we can have an epic reunion one-shot, and, and maybe Sean will be in it. Maybe. Yeah. All right, let's go take a look. Thank you, Sean. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go chat with uh, yet another one of the alumni. You may recognize Albert from the Dungeon Mayhem tournament. Now, no. you didn't play in the Dungeon no, Mayhem tournament. You didn't? No. At all? I never played as much. All right, I'm running out of people. He did. Yeah, there was a lot. There's a lot of people that are part of the crew here. But. There are now 10 people watching. I just you didn't play Mayhem? I did, but not like Who else? Jack Weston played Mayhem. Riz. Everybody yeah, played like, Mayhem. Like, like, Sammy Mason played, played Mayhem. I did. Jack O'Brien played Mayhem. You know, you know who watched Mayhem? The kid I used to nanny. He would sit there and he would watch Mayhem all the time, and then he had a whole expansion deck at his house, and we would play it every day. See? It was amazing. It's good to learn about Dungeon Mayhem. Dungeon Mayhem is a fun card game for all of you guys who, who don't know. It's a, it's a very fun game. Um, let me see. Well, we've got some alumni in there. Um, so let's see. We're out here now. So um, I'm going to probably wrap up this live stream. But uh, I will say that it for me, it's it's always awesome to see my, my former students. Um... Oh, Rafa says, hey, Bill, will you, let me see this, will you put the kids through some OSR system, perhaps some veterans from D&D with ISO students? I think it would be super cool. That's, that's a good idea. I think I could actually pull that off. Um, I would need to, I would need to find the right OSR system, but I think that could be fun for kind of a reunion episode. So I'll say that um, a lot of the students who live in the area, are, are definitely interested in coming back for you know for a little reunion one shot so you know maybe this summer maybe we'll be able to do that yes um sultans of swing is playing in the background hopefully my video won't be copyright ripped um where is Krafa? i was trying to find oh there's Krafa. Krafa, we're gonna end this live stream say say bye to everybody 
Yes. How many people are on? 12? Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. 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 Oh, so okay. we're here at uh, Krafa's for the 6th Annual Summer Solstice Reunion. And uh, it's been wonderful seeing everybody. And I just figured I'd share some of that with you guys. Because, Do you know how to end it? Because you're all um, loyal fans and we appreciate your support. So thanks for tuning into this very brief live stream where you could uh, see everybody. And that's all. Good night.